Hey, what's up? It's Who the F is JC, your unofficial junk food connoisseur, back again with another snacking related video. This time, we're gonna step into the realm of G Fuel. If you're not familiar with G Fuel, G Fuel is like a, a gamer energy drink company. Um, they put out a lot of like video game themed flavors. You can buy their drinks in cans, you can buy them in powdered form. Well, they've made a flavor based off of one of my favorite childhood video games, I need to say. One of my favorite childhood video games, they base a flavor off of. And it is Zitz Juice, which when I first bought it, I thought it was Zit Juice. I was like, ooh, they made a, they made an energy drink called Zit Juice. Weird, but it's Zitz Juice. As in Zitz, as in the Battletoad character. So this is his juice, it's supposed to be a, a green mango. Now, I've never tried the G Fuel powder before. Um, I've only just bought the cans. I've tried like the Tetris flavor. I've tried a few of their other G Fuel can flavors. But um, I love the idea of a an energy drink or an energy beverage with zero sugar, zero calories. Kind of, I want to say it's going to be natural, but I don't think this is going to be all natural stuff. But if it's going to help me with my energy, my focus, my endurance, and my reaction time, I'm down, not just for when I'm playing video games, but it helped me when I'm at work in the morning. I work very early mornings, and I'm trying to get out of the typical monster energy drink phase. Um, I know it really elevates my blood pressure, so maybe this could be a good alternative. So I'm gonna unbox this. This came as a set, which I pre-ordered, I wanna say back at the end of September, maybe in the October, but I pre-ordered the set. Um, it comes with a cup and a, a, a jar of stuff and maybe some stickers, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna unbox it, and then I'm going to try some and let you know what the flavor tastes like. But uh, Zitz Juice is supposed to be like a green mango, and I don't know what separates a green mango from normal mango, other than maybe maybe one's ripe and one's not yet ripe. So I've never had a green mango. The only mango experience I have is like, that's kind of like the tropical bubblicious flavor that, that's in most candies. So I'm gonna give this an open. So got my G Fuel box. It comes in a nice little box to keep it nice and safe. Um, they got a bunch of different uh, flavors and varieties that you can sign up for uh, at the G Fuel website. I don't have a code. I'm not affiliated with G Fuel in any way whatsoever other than I love the Battletoads and I wanted to try Zitz Juice. So, and I thought it'd be a fun little video. Battletoads, of course, looks like a, if you never played, go back and play it. Find an emulator and play Battletoads for the NES and uh, try out some of the newer. They got a couple of new versions of Battletoads, which are pretty good. Not as good as the original. But uh, the original, you can only get to like level three. If anybody could beat the Hyperbike level on Battletoads, let me know. Just send me some sort of proof and I'll, I'll send you a sticker or something. Yeah. If you can prove to me that you've beaten the, the Hyperbike level in the original Battletoads, you can prove it to me. I'll send you some Who the JC stickers, okay? So you figure out how you can prove it to me because I don't know how you can prove it unless you record yourself doing it and then you, you send me a link. But if you can show me that you can beat that level, I bow down to you, Sensei, and I will mail you some of the FJC stickers. So, now to the unboxing of this G Fuel Battletoads little set. Um, plain old cardboard box, you can see it comes decked out in cool Battletoads artwork. Try to carefully open it. I don't want to rip the box. Let's just see what's inside. Okay, so yeah, like a, it's like a big cup. A big cup. So, I'm assuming that's the big cup that you, uh, you mix it in, and that's the mix right there. So, let me pull the cup out. Okay, cool, and the cup, it's got some cool Battletoads art going around the side. I didn't really know what exactly I was getting myself into when I bought it. Take the lid off. So I'm assuming, I'm not sure, do you, do you do something with this? Is that in there? Like, do I need that to like mix up the energy juice when I'm drinking it? Why would that be inside like that? How does this work? You just pop this up. Pop this up, okay. Looks like I got, I got a sticker. And we got my tub of G Fuel Zitz Juice. Okay, so that's all that's in here. I thought there was like a little ball. Like you see those shakers with the ball in it that you shake up to, to drink whatever you're drinking. But see, sugar-free right there. So that makes me happy. Sugar-free, which means this is all chemical powder. All chemical powder. You get 40 servings. Uh, I don't remember how much this was. I want to say in the realm of like maybe 20, 30 bucks. You get the cup, you get a container of it. Um, there's only 15 calories per serving. So as long as it tastes good and it like gives me this uh, energy boost, this could be my new source of energy drink. So um, 
Let me see those instructions on how to make this. What we got, it looks like a hair dryer plus a bottle equals, hmm, what does that mean? Hair dryer plus bottle equals crazy lightning bolt thingy? I might not be qualified to make this G Fuel. Now, is there a G Fuel flavor that you've had, that you tried, that you love, that you think I need to give a taste? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, I used to work with a guy that went by the name of Weird Beard, and he loved the Sonic Peach Rings. You know, that was the flavor he dug. I don't know if that's just because he had a crush on Sonic the Hedgehog, or if he actually enjoyed the, uh, the peach ring flavor. So we're taking the plastic off the top, opening it up. Let's see, is it sealed up with like another little seal in there, like a vitamin seal? Yep, so it's got that seal. So nice, double sealed for my safety. Oh, look at that, okay. Wasn't expecting a white powder. If it's green mango, I assume the powder would be like green or something. Now, is there like a mixer in here, like a, or a scooper? Yes, there we go, okay, got the scooper. Pull this out. Interesting, okay. I'm not sure, okay, so that's what that means. So this, that was not a hair dryer, that's the scooper. So I must have been saying scooper plus water bottle equals the energy. So, right, I gotta fill this up, I'm assuming, yeah. Is there a certain amount of water I'm supposed to mix in it? Where's the instructions? Consuming this product can expose you to chemicals including lead. Okay, we'll skip that part. Uh, instructions on mixing? No. I guess they assume that uh, everybody knows it's one scoop with so much water. I don't know, but. All right, we'll take the cup. We're supposed to put the, the powder in first. I'm supposed to take this out? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do. But we'll put the powder in. Hopefully that's enough. Oof, it smells like Kool-Aid. Tickle my nose a little bit. It smells like Kool-Aid. And then uh, I guess I'll, I'll fill it up with water. Go over here, fill it up with water. Get it nice and full of water. Oh, it's turning green. The white powder is now turning green. Very cool. I'm gonna fill this all the way up with water from my fridge, nice filtered water from the fridge. And there, hopefully now you can see. Yeah, you can see I got the green. I guess I'm gonna put this in. Is this supposed to help mix stuff up? One little piece of paper with some instructions would, would have been super beneficial, G Fuel. I don't know if you got that in your budget. Uh, you know, just put a little piece of paper with some instructions. Help a brother out, man. And we'll put the lid back on. I hope this seals up tight enough to where I can shake it up and mix it. Because I'm assuming that's what you do. You got a cup like this. You got a sweet kick-ass Battletoads cup. Mix it up. Mixing up the mix. Popping up the lid. <clears throat> now to take a taste. Take a little tasty taste. Yeah, it's real uh, bubbly in there now. Looks like I made some foam, some zit foam. All right, green mango, G Fuel, zits juice from the Battletoads. What's it taste like? Not, it's not bad, but it's not great. It definitely has like a, like a powdery taste to it. And you pick up some of the powderiness. Maybe I didn't shake it up enough. Close it up, we'll shake it up again. Definitely get some powderiness. The flavor's not bad. It's definitely like a tropical flavor. Different than a typical mango flavor that I've had. But we'll give it another sip here and see. It's not bad. There's definitely like a weird chemically created aftertaste that hits you on the end. I feel like the water's not ice, ice cold. So maybe if I had like a bottle of water like in the fridge, like ice cold to mix with it, it would make it better. Like nice ice cold G Fuel um, would probably help. Or maybe once I put the mix and the water in, refrigerate it, shake it up and then drink it, 
the temperature might uh, might be throwing off a little bit. We'll take one more sip. But yeah, it reminds me of a like a tropical Kool Aid. There's a bit of a chemical kind of powdery aftertaste to it, but for zero sugar, 15 calories, it's not bad. Definitely not my favorite. This, the cup is cool. For me, the whole thing about this is a kick-ass battle tools cup. This will be sweet to have, but um, I would probably try a few other flavors before I settle down on a favorite G Fuel. The, the, the green mango zitz juice, it's just okay. I guess I'm not a Zitz Juice fan, but I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's kind of just there. Uh, because I spent the money on it, I'm going to drink it. You know, I'm still going to drink the G Fuel. Um, it'll probably help, help me at work in the morning. So, especially with the new baby, being up late, changing diapers, giving bottles at one o'clock in the morning when you got to be up in a couple hours for work. It's rough. So hopefully Zitz Juice, G Fuel, you'll help me in that battle. But uh, yeah, overall, just okay, just okay. Um, I wouldn't say rush out and get this, but if you're curious about green mango, give it a whirl. But there might be other flavors out there that are better than this. I know they got a Rick and Morty flavor that came out right after I pre-ordered this. So um, give that a whirl. And again, if you have a G Fuel flavor that you'd like to recommend, let me know down in the bottom. Let me know in the comments uh, which G Fuel flavor you highly, highly recommend. I wanna know the, the flavor of G Fuel that you can, couldn't give a higher recommendation to so let me know down in the comments and uh, that's gonna be it for this this uh, little taste test unboxing unboxing the G Fuel Zitz Juice uh, little bell toads kit that I pre-ordered from G Fuel uh, a few months back hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching if you did enjoy it please give the video a like and if you do enjoy my content please subscribe to the channel um, subscribe to the channel commenting liking the videos all helps me in the YouTube algorithm I really appreciate any help that you can give me in that process so um that's it for me thanks so much for watching uh, don't forget you can find me on twitch streaming doing just snacking all sorts of stuff like that twitch.tv slash who the app is jc and i also want to remind you if you enjoy my t-shirt and you like one for yourself make sure you check out ibuythatshirt.com they're not a sponsor it's actually a website that i own this is my t-shirt that i printed that you can own yourself over at ibuythatshirt.com so thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. Until then, sayonara, sucker.